have survived many periods of climate warming since the last ice age ripped the earth. But in the last seven years, these glaciers have lost 10% of their mass. 20,000 years ago, this, this valley was m much more com uh, covered in ice than it is now. The reason why we think climate change is so significant now, though, it's happening at a, at a historically fast rate. Rapid melting is not happening just to the glaciers of Patagonia. In the United States, one of the nation's most famous landmarks, northern Montana's Glacier National Park, may soon lose the very thing it was named for. Some of these glaciers are five to 8,000 years old, yet they're melting so rapidly they could vanish in my lifetime. Once there were more than 150 glaciers here. Today, there are fewer than 40. As these before and after pictures dramatically show, glaciers that took thousands of years to form are disintegrating in only decades. And it's happening from the Andes to Alaska. I've heard a lot of people say, hey, global warming, bring it on. I live up here in northern Montana. I'll be able to swim in this lake in April. If all it meant was slightly milder winters in the north, you know, probably a lot of people would be for it. But that's not what's at stake. We're talking about remaking the world in very dangerous ways. At the eastern end of the Antarctic Peninsula, a massive ice shelf juts into the ocean. Known as Larsen B, this plate of ice has been in deep freeze for the past 12,000 years. But in the summer of 2002, something unprecedented happens. Larsen B completely collapses. A chunk the size of Rhode Island falls into the sea. Scientists are stunned. Something unusual is happening to ice all over the world. Okay, one, two, three. <laughs> Nicely done. The glaciers of Patagonia are literally melting before Harrison's eyes, carving rivers through the ice, pulling into lakes, tunneling holes that burrow hundreds of feet into the heart of the glacier. Harrison repels into one of these holes to get a